Hi, in this video, I'm going to be reviewing how to document on a progress note, specifically the HPI, ROS, and examination section. Please make note that this demonstration is going to be conducted in a completely fake training database. So a couple of the colors and maybe some of the different categories, et cetera, that are listed will not mirror yours exactly. Let's get started. I'm currently logged in as a provider. Notice in my S jelly bean, I have the number one. That lets me know that I have one patient that is currently marked arrived. I can see here on my office visit schedule, I have the patient test Christy and her status is marked as arrived. I can tell that the status over here is that she is ready for the provider as well as what room number the patient is in. I'm gonna click directly on my patient's name and this is gonna take me to my progress note. From within my progress note, at the very top, I can see my dashboard. And then on this right-hand side, I can see my patient's right chart panel. Over here to the left, this is my actual progress note. Notice on this blue bar where I have my patient's name, date of birth, and account number, all the way to the right, I can see my status listed here as well, as well as what room my patient is in. Underneath here, I can see some brief information about my patient, including their name, phone number, address, etc. And then I have my SOAP note listed. The first thing that you are going to see is your chief complaint. Now, my patient is here for a possible UTI. Whomever scheduled my appointment for my patient, this is where that reason comes from. So on the appointment window screen, they enter in the reason, and that automatically flows over to our chief complaint section. I can always click directly on my chief complaint and I can elaborate a little bit further here. Or I could have always entered something under the line underneath, depending on what you like your progress note to look like. Now, a couple of things I want to call out in this window is on this far left hand side, you have what is called your floating toolbar. Now, the very top is always going to be the window that you are in right now. So mine says chief complaint because that's the current window I'm already in. Underneath here, you have your Rx tab. This is going to show you any medications that your patient is taking. You can view the history, who the provider was, etc. using different filters up here at the top. Your next icon is your treatment timeline. Again, you have your different filters up here at the top and it's gonna show you a timeline of different things that have been ordered for your patient. So you can see things like medications, labs, procedures, referrals, et cetera. You have another icon specifically for labs. And then in the top right-hand corner, you can always toggle to diagnostic imaging and procedures. Your next icon is your documents. From here, you can view any documents that are in your patient's chart. Your next icon is your schedule. So this is where you can actually schedule appointments for your patient. Please note you can only view one provider schedule at a time. On the left-hand side, you will see that provider schedule. And then on the right-hand side, you have your calendar icon. So you can always navigate to a different day to then schedule an appointment. Your next icon that you have is Prisma, if you choose to use that within your database, as well as Eva. Now I'm gonna just click back on Chief Complaint at the very top to take me back to this window. Once I hit the X in the top right-hand corner, anything that I just added is now going to appear on my progress note. The next section I'm gonna navigate to is my HPI. I'm gonna click directly on HPI. Notice I still have my floating toolbar over here on the left hand side. This will follow me throughout different windows. So a couple of different ways that you can document your HPI. Now before getting started, I want to just review a little bit of terminology within ECW. On the left hand side of your screen, you have your different categories. Now if a category has a plus sign next to it, that simply means that there are subcategories associated. You can click on whichever category that you would like, and it's going to then bring up the different items associated over here on this right-hand side. You also have a search category up here at the top, so I can always start searching for, let's say, the word urine, and it would take me directly to something that contains that word. Now, in order to fill this information out, notice on this right-hand side, you have some different symptoms. So for example, blood and urine. If I wanted to document this for my patient, 
All the way to the right, I'm going to click on this blank box underneath Notes. This is then going to bring up my notes window for me where on the left hand side, depending on the build in your database, you'll have some different options listed or you can free text over here on the right hand side. So just depending on your preference, so let's look at another example. For example, this one where I have blood and urine has been present. Notice on this one on the left hand side, I have those different options listed. I can simply click on it and it will input it over here on the right hand side. Or again, I could free text here depending on my preference. Once I click the OK button, I will then see it listed here. If you needed to delete this documentation, you could always use this X over here on the right hand side and it would clear out that information for you. I can then hit the X in the top right hand corner and this is going to then populate it onto my progress note. Now notice I have a lot of different colors going on. The purple, this is going to be the category that you're in. The green is the item and then the black is going to be your answer. You could always click on any of these to get back into that window or you have this little in notes place icon listed. So I could always click on this right here and it's going to give me the option where I could enter any free text in. Once I click my OK button, notice that that um, added right into my progress note. This icon is available for you in various sections throughout the progress note. So notice next to our examination, we also have that same icon listed here where I could click right on it and it's just going to bring up the very first category that is listed in my database. I'm going to go ahead and click directly on my examination. Notice my formatting is the exact same. I have that floating toolbar on the left hand side. Over here, I have my different categories. I still have that search category listed here. So depending on what it is I'm filling out for my patient, I could always search for it. So if I wanna just enter in the general examination, I can click on that from here and it's gonna highlight that category for me. So over here on the right hand side, I have that general exam tab. I also have a search box here as well. So I can search for something here or just begin filling out that information. This window functions the same way where I want to click on that blank box directly next to my item to enter in that information. So if I wanted to fill out the general appearance for my patient, I'm going to click right in this box and then I have those different items over here on the left hand side. I can select multiple ones or I could always free text over here. Once I click my OK button, that information is then going to populate onto my note for me. I can hit that X in the top right hand corner to see it listed here under my progress note. Now the same thing applies as far as that purple is your category, the green is the item, and then the black is the answer that's listed next to it. You also have your ROS. Now notice this one does not have that in place icons next to it, but I can just click directly on my ROS link and it's going to bring up that window for me. Exact same format here, still got that nice floating toolbar. I have my categories as well as the different items associated. And this again functions the exact same way. So if my patient presented with fatigue today, directly across on the right hand side, I could click in that blank box, click my appropriate answer, select OK at the bottom right, and now I have that added into my progress note. I could continue this process for as many different items as I needed, and then once I close out, I would see it listed here. This concludes our video on documenting on a progress note, specifically in the HPI examination and ROS, ROS section. Thank you for joining.